Hey, the toll road is in here in Richmond, Indiana with... Road Trip. And we are at the Model T Museum. We're gonna see some new cars. I might upgrade my vehicle from what I got. And uh, we'll see what's inside. The Model T was made by the Ford Motor Company from 1908 till 1927. Henry Ford was noted for saying, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And he was right when he thought he could produce America's first affordable automobile. Ford was one of the first to take advantage of a new thought called the assembly line, which made this vehicle affordable for even those who made it. For many years, the Model T was available in any color you wanted, as long as it was black. This Model T was converted into a snowmobile by putting skis on front and tracks on the rear. Over 16 million Model T's were built during its lifespan, and the 5 millionth one built can be found here for a limited time. Even old Aunt Myrtle could take this car out for a spin. Two hundred and ninety bucks. Hard to find a bicycle for that price nowadays. Oh, Henry, we stopped counting a long time ago. The stockholders didn't want them selling farm equipment under the Ford name, so they got a real tricky and called it the Fordson. This was run by Henry and his son, Edsel. We were a little surprised when we ran into our road trip Rich's uncle, Amish Abe. The vehicle you see here was donated to the museum under one condition, that they actually took it out and drove it on a regular basis. In a race held at Pike's Peak, the owner of one car entered a Model T that he called Old Liz. Now, it was unpainted and didn't have a hood, and many spectators said it looked like a tin can. And by the beginning of the race, they gave the nickname the Tin Lizzie. But to their surprise, Old Tin Lizzie won the race, and the nickname stuck with the car.
check out the swivel kitchen chair that poses as a driver's seat and this old Model T that was used as a hot dog stand. We were told this speedster right here could still reach up to 75 miles per hour today. We'll take their word on that. Check out how the steering wheel folds up so a big man can squeeze in. You could turn an old Model T into just about anything. All right, Rich, that was our tour of the uh, Model T Museum. Uh, what'd you think of it? I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I learned a lot about the Model T I didn't know about. Yeah, I'd say our, our tour guide was uh, very informative. He uh, seemed to know everything there is to know about Model Ts and the history there. The um, museum was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, same here. I thought it was just the one room across the street there. What am I getting? But uh, there's a whole nother annex they had here with what do you say, like 22 more cars on yeah, this like side here. This side, uh, yeah. Yeah, but if you're in the uh, Richmond, Indiana area, passing through uh, I-70 maybe, stop by and check it out. It's only five bucks to get in, well worth it. And Rich gives it the thumbs up. <laughs> All right. And uh, who knows where the toll road will lead to next. See ya.